few years ago, Darren and I worked together with Case IH to develop the Ag PhD Harvest Loss app. And we want to talk about that just a little bit today during our Farm Basics time. Well, there's a number of different crops that we've covered on this app. So if you're harvesting one of these crops, you can get out behind the combine, count the number of seeds that are on the ground and figure out what your loss is. Now, uh, when we look at corn and soybeans and wheat, oats, barley and sorghum, those ones we've got on the app already. Brian, I'd like to add canola. I know those seeds are tiny and it would be a real oh pain to goodness. try and count them, but that would be fun. All right, so here, here's the whole thing. <laughs> maybe what not, we, maybe what, not. What we really care about is not necessarily how many seeds are on the ground. What we care about is how many dollars are on the ground. So with this app, you can also punch in what your cost of production is, or you can punch in whatever you expect to sell that grain for. Either way, however you want to look at that. But the point is, you want to figure out dollars and cents in addition to just bushels per acre. Well, the big thing, Brian, regardless of which dollar amount you use to value the crop is we're leaving some dollars on the table if we don't get out behind the combine and see what's going on. If we're, if we're having some grain going out the back, we need to make some adjustments here to fix this right now when we can still make more money. Well, that's true, but I really look at three different types of harvest loss. The first is it was already on the ground before I got there with the combine, so you want to look at that. Then with the head, how much are we losing at the head? So the way you determine that is basically you pull in and then you have to pull back just a little bit. And then finally, yes, you've got the grand total of what's sitting behind the combine. Either you had loss in the combine, you had loss at the head, or you had loss already on the ground before you started. Well, I know this is a little bit depressing to be out behind the combine and say, oh no, I left $20 an acre on the ground but you really do need to be looking at this as you go throughout harvest this yep. year. So if you're a non-farmer, just so you understand, this is in unbelievably important. We as farmers have done everything possible to raise the best crop all through the season. We don't want to see it end up on the ground and see those dollars lost. Well, another thing we don't want to see out in our fields is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 